Hi, I am Debbie Harris, and uh, this is my family. Uh, my husband um, is now retired from the Marine Corps, but um, that was quite a journey as well. But we have three sons, and our youngest is Josh, and many of you might be familiar with him. Uh, Josh joined uh, the team at Gillette um, when there was a special needs clinic that we were invited to, and I think he was one year old. And so we've been there ever since. And now Josh is 27 years old. So it's been a remarkable journey at Gillette. Um, transi transition to us has been a really scary concept. And I think it's because of Josh's complex needs and all of the, um, just the, the, the dips and the uh, mountains and, and peaks and whatever in his journey. Um, and the relationships that we've had to form uh, to become the advocates that we are and the trust that we've had to develop with uh, practitioners um, and some of the experiences that we've had that have been really actually traumatic for us. And so just developing um, those relationships of trust and finding um, physicians and, and others who would support our journey with Josh um, for us, it's been, that has been just such a treasure. And so the thought of having to leave that team um, was so scary. And, and, and for me especially, um, I feel like it's the reason we have Josh is because we've had such a remarkable team. And so when the concept of transition was first brought up to, to me, um, I felt like I was going back to the NICU days again, where um, I you just didn't know from one minute to another if he were gonna be with us. And so I felt like um, I was just facing so much of an unknown. And if we left that, that group of people um, that we would lose Josh as well. And because his needs are, are, are complex, and even though he's been stable, because we've learned so much about him from the, that same team, and because we've been able to be advocates enough to develop a continuity and consistency in the people who come into our home to help us care for him, um, he's been really stable for, for a few years. Um, but prior to that, it, it, it wasn't the case. And so um, I just felt like we would lose that and we would lose him. So. It took a lot of convincing for me to um, even approach having an appointment for transition. And I think we were kind of the notorious, um, oh, let's see, the notorious non-transitioners. <laughs> so, but they finally got us there and, and it's been an awesome uh, experience for us. So um, now we're kind of cheerleaders for it. <laughs> 